Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about three topics that are pretty important to me, which are meaning, purpose, and ski racing. And I also want to show you video footage of both of my runs of giant slalom in the 2006 Paralympics, which is video that I've never put online before. And by the way, if you want to see a transcript of this video, there's a link in the underbar. You can read it on my blog. All right, here we go. People often ask me if I miss being a professional ski racer. And the answer is yes, definitely. I miss the way the snow absorbs sound so that in the early morning or late afternoon you can stand alone on a ski slope and hear a silence unlike anything you'll ever experience on dry land. I miss looking out the windows of gondolas in Europe and being struck by just the, the sheer size and quantity and majesty of the snow-capped mountains. But most of all, I miss waking up each morning in an apartment in Colorado knowing that every activity of my day will be designed to bring me one step closer to my goal of racing in the Paralympics. In other words, I miss the single-minded purpose with which I lived during my years as a ski racer. By the way, that hand signal I just did, that L4, that stood for Lodge 4. It was a shout out to my roommates at the time. But Anyway, the reason I don't ski race anymore, in addition to the fact that my knee is kind of ruined, is that at the end of a day of ski racing, I often found myself saying, all right, yeah, that, that was kind of fun, but all I did today was like slide around on frozen water. I didn't make any impact on the world whatsoever. And in this sense, although ski racing gave me great purpose, that purpose didn't always carry great meaning. And that's what I appreciate about my life today. The things I do now, the motivational speaking, YouTube, and my book, are generally more meaningful than ski racing because I feel like they make the world a slightly better place. So, do I miss ski racing? Yeah, I definitely do. And I often drift off to sleep at night watching memories that look much like the video you are seeing right now. But there's a time for everything, and sometimes I think that ultimately our greatest purpose is to find meaning in accepting whatever life brings us in this time, this moment, today. A-M-P-U-T-E-E, listen up people, don't feel sorry for me. A-M-P-U-T-E-E, the glass is half full, yeah I still got three.